studio, by the way, with uh, the former president of the Berkeley County uh, Commission. There was a council when he was there. It's a commission now, thankfully. Doug Copenhaver. Doug, good morning. Good morning, Rob. Good to see you. Always good to be here. You brought Tim Zai along with you as well? Tim brought me. <laughs> as well as it should be. Tim, I, I guess about two weeks ago we had you here, right? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, well, great to have you back again. Are you Thank sinking, you. by the way, as your chair is starting to sink? Maybe <laughs> slightly. <laughs> because it's because Gil, Gil Scrap swapped it out. Man, this morning. I was wondering man, they're like just attention. throwing under the bus left and right. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm looking at Tim and I'm like, uh, there's less and less of Tim each time I that, look over there. If you there. don't correct it, your chin will be <laughs> on the table. That, that, just chair, that chair early in the day was over there at yeah, Tim, so John swapped it out, it yeah. <laughs> well, it's uh, a serious subject, of course, that we bring you in here for. And uh, uh, Doug, uh, no secret that uh, you were one of the main people behind the movement in Berkeley County, and that has uh, spread throughout the state. Uh, not nearly enough, but it should. Uh, it, it's a way of uh, helping people and also helping taxpayers at the same time. I remember when you came up with the idea of uh, the drug courts and the day report center as a way of saving the taxpayers. I mean, you think you speculated a million, two million dollars at that time. People scoffed at you when you said that. The math actually turned out in your favor and then some with that idea. But the humanity of the issue was an even greater story there. Yeah, Rob. And uh, I don't want to take all the credit. Uh, we, we started on this early on, but it, when Dan Delier came on, um, that that it really, really took off. So Dan done a, a lot of work, and as everybody said, we made a great team. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of people struggling. Um, actually, my daughter's working with someone right now that's not going to make it. Um, mm. And um, we're uh, – we're always out there to, to um, have people like seldom do I go to church, but the one time when I went to church uh, in, a, in a long time, um, the lady there's a lady in the congregation came up and said, hey, I just want to thank you uh, because your programs at the county with Tim Zia is really, has helped my son out. And he's staying home with his family. He's on work um, confinement, uh, home confinement, I'm sorry. Uh, and, and, he's being productive right and so what we find in is over the years is when they're when they're coming out of that i say the six foot hole that they dug themselves into um any little setback could revert them back to where they were and that's that's what tim and all of us and tim's all of his employees has, has been working on and uh, they do a wonderful job so there's a fundraiser going on that we're going to try to be able to make sure that they have a, a small setback and they're really really working hard um then uh, there'll be a little bit of help there for them tell us about the fundraiser tim you're better at that than i am <laughs> well i don't know about that hurry tim before you disappear yeah so <laughs> um the uh there's a lot of people that are in our programs who are doing very well um they're doing everything that they're supposed to do they're reporting for treatment they're they're performing their drug screens um and and for those of you uh listeners out there who may not know uh the the berkeley day report center berkeley county recovery services uh these are programs that are in place to uh help people who have uh, gotten caught up in addiction and um have ended up with with legal consequences as a result so they're given an opportunity to engage in treatment and supervision while living in the community as opposed to traditional incarceration. And that's good, of course, for them, but it's also good for the community. It's, it's far cheaper uh, for the taxpayers to uh, support programs like these than, than just supporting jail. Um, so there's a lot of people in our programs that are doing very well. They're doing everything they're supposed to do, but they, they hit bumps in the road. Um, you know, uh, for mm -hmm. us sitting around the table here, if, if one of us got a flat tire on the side of the road, there's probably any number of people we could call that would be right there. They'd probably even buy us a tire um, if, if we needed them to. But you get a tow truck, you get a new tire put on, it's no problem. Well, for people who are trying to rebuild their life, whose uh, addiction pretty much destroyed their support system, they don't have a support system like that around them. And um, something like a flat tire can can really become a massive barrier uh, to their success. So um, the purpose of this fundraiser that, that uh, Dan and Doug and Virginia Sign and Shelly Shoppard are putting together is to, uh, is to uh, gather some funds for us to 
to utilize to meet needs like that. That's just mm-hmm. one example of many. Um, uh, you know, uh, sometimes a flat tire or, or a disabled car um, leads to now I can't work, now I can't pay my bills, um, and it can lead to a relapse for some people. So we want to do everything that we can to help the people in our program that are, that are doing their part. Um, mm-hmm. So extending on your example, um, the, the flat tire, is this a fund that they will be able to access to get a new tire? So, so there's a treatment team that meets every week and we discuss uh, um, our cases uh, very closely. And um, the ones that tend to get more attention are the ones that are, that are doing, doing well. Um, we try and give our, our, you know, all of our, our focus and, and uh, support to those that are, that are doing what they're supposed to do in our program. So uh, the treatment team meets. Um, we, we talk about each case individually. And if a flat tire, for instance, comes up. The treatment now, is that a metaphorical flat tire, or are you talking about? It, 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 it is, but it, it could be a reality. Okay. Um, that's just one example of many. Okay. It could be, you know, we have people who, uh, who are living in environments that are not helpful to their recovery. They have family members or friends living with them who are using. They want to get out of that environment. They don't have the $500 to pay the initial Oxford House fee. They want to get into recovery housing. We want to assist with that. Um, we don't necessarily have funds to assist with those needs. Or somebody uh, uh, has an opportunity to get a job at one of the warehouses making a decent wage, but they need steel toe boots that cost $125. They can't afford it. Um, we want to be able to meet those needs. and, and uh, no, so, so we're not talking about handing cash to the participants. Mm-hmm. We're talking about paying for those needs directly um, if the treatment team decides to. And the good thing about Tim and um, the committee is that they really look and and make sure that the people's making the best use of their recovery. If if they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing, then then they're they're dealt with very quickly. And um, it's it's and that's why the program's doing so well. That's why it's so strong. Is you got to be serious about your recovery. And if you're here to play games with any of the staff um, or the committee or the or the or the judicial uh, branch it won't be tolerated so it's it's so there is verification yes yeah tim in hey, addition Bill, before you go real quick i just yeah. want to hit the fundraiser specifics if we could date time and, uh, and everything involved okay um first of all i want to mention our platinum sponsor is wvu medicine mm-hmm. uh they came forward and and sponsored we've, we've got a lot of other sponsors going on um but the dinner is correct me if i'm wrong october the 14th at the holiday inn uh, you can buy tickets, um, and um, Tim, you'll have to tell them where to get the tickets and stuff. But we—they are on the street, um, and and the meal will start. The doors open at six. And the meal starts at seven, right? That's correct. Uh, yep. si- silent auction, live auction, um, and uh, you have a speaker or w- whatever. Yes, yeah, Supreme Court Justice Hutchison is coming up to uh, to speak. He'll be our keynote speaker, and then we're going to have. Uh, a couple of our program graduates share their testimonies. Mm-hmm. And, and why, speak, why Supreme Court Justice uh, Hutchinson? Uh, he's he, this sort of work uh, is important to him um, in his role as a as a uh, a judge in West Virginia. Um, he knows better than many that um, you know this problem is is massive and it needs attention. And uh, he's supportive of the idea of community corrections programs and allowing people an opportunity to, to, to get it together and to learn to live a st- lifestyle recovery as opposed to just, I ah, put him in jail. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know, he, he, he recognizes that just putting him in jail really does not work. It's very expensive. Um, you know, our, our jails just can't even meet the need. Uh, if we put every drug addict in jail for possession or, or petty larceny or something like that. So, and it doesn't stop them from using drugs either. That's correct. The jail, the jail is filled with them. They continue the cycle and, uh, it's never ending. So um, he believes in these programs. He, he he actually came up and spoke at our grand opening of our, our facility that we're in now over mm-hmm. at the Day Report Center. Um, I appreciate his support. And where do you get the tickets? Virginia Sign has tickets. Shelly Shoppert has tickets. Uh, I can get tickets for folks if they, if they need them. Um, so, yeah. Is there a website or anything you can buy them off of? Or are these all tickets sold in person? They're being sold in person. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, the other thing, too, I mean, if you're um, – the, the testimony coming from the, the participants, if you – if I brought – hey, you can get them right here today. I got the tickets. Mm-hmm. All right. But uh, the, um, the testimonies, make sure you bring 
some something to wipe the tears away from your eyes because I'm telling you these testimonies can get very emotional. Don't we? Yeah, I start to say we're unique. We're unique in a sense because of folks like you uh, and Doug and others. Uh, but we have the uh, uh, a very active uh, uh, day reporting center. We have a very active drug court. We have uh, Mountaineer Recovery. We had the work that's uh, uh, that. Uh, Kaylin, uh, uh, Kay, uh, Kevin Knowles has done, and obviously stuff that you've done. So we're truly, we're in the head, we're in the van of the rest of the state. Uh, do you see progress being made in the rest of the state trying to do, mimic some of the stuff that you folks have led? Yes. Um, I've had a number of other uh, day report center directors reach out and, and um, just kind of compare notes and um, many of them want to do everything that they can in their roles to uh, to expand and improve. And, um, you know, we, we're fortunate here in, in Berkeley County to have all these people in all the right places yeah. uh, who are supportive of this kind of work, um, from our judges to our prosecutor, our probation and parole departments, our, obviously our, our county uh, commission. Um, there are other counties in West Virginia that don't necessarily have all the people in all the right places that, that believe in this. There are still people out there that view addiction as a just a moral failure and kind of a conscious choice that people make every day to continue to, to destroy their lives with addiction. Well, I can tell you with 100% certainty, there's, there's, I've said this before, I, I might sound like a broken record with it, but um, there's no heroin addict or methamphetamine addict or cocaine addict or alcoholic out there that likes their condition. They don't want to be that way. They want to be free from it. They just don't know how to be free. Yeah. So these programs um, are, are all about teaching them how to be free. And these programs require money. Uh, you get uh, you get money from the county. I assume you get money from the state. Do you get money from the federal government as well? We do. Okay. Yep. Yep. We have federal grants. We have state grants. The county commission, of course, okay. supports our programs. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You know, it's it's easy to say that um, addiction is a choice. Everything that you you were talking about before, these people choose to not pull themselves out. That was the drumbeat for a long, long time, and maybe it still is. Do you get the sense that that's softening? Are we getting through to the hardcore um, naysayers to recovery programs? Yeah, I think so. Um, and, and it's all about how you explain what's going on. Um, and... Um, I think, uh, sad to say, John, I think a lot of people's being affected from it more so than they've ever been affected from it before. They either know someone, they have a family member, maybe someone that, that they know has died from it. Um, I'd say probably 80% of the people out there is being affected, but actually really 100% because, you know, when, when you get... A, when you go to the far extreme, then you're 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 having to steal to support your habit. Then everybody's paying for that. Um, so I think the I think it came a long ways in the last twelve years, Bill. For everything that you talked about, everybody that you talked about wasn't there twelve years ago, right? That's all happened in the last twelve years. And as you said, Berkeley County, I like to say, is leading the state in West Virginia. I think one of the things that, that actually keeps some of the counties from doing what Berkeley County has done, done the county com council slash commission is how I always said it, um, was lucky enough to say we're going to put bridge money towards the program and we're going to hire Tim Zaya to be the director of the day report center. And we may not break even for a year or so, but if we did break even from a monetary side, which that's how what we're going to get be called out on by, by the voters, um, that's a win-win, but we're really saving lives, keeping families together, and making our community a better place to live. So I, I think a lot, of, a lot of the smaller counties in the state that's been struggling, Bill, I think if they had bridge money, I think, and that could be supplied by the state even, it, it would be great. I think they would, because I think the, the number that you used, Rob, was a million back when we got started. I think it's over $5 million today. Per year. Hmm? Per year or cumulative? No, cumulative. Oh no, per year. Per year, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Easy, easy. You, five. You, you folks are closer to the uh, to the issue than anybody I know. Uh, are we winning the battle, losing the battle, or holding our own? How would you gauge it from your perspective? Oh, I think we win the battle every time somebody survives. But I'm talking about a net, Doug. Well, yeah. I, I think 
I think it's like anything else, uh, Bill, and, and this is um, this isn't the the um, easy part. You know, if one of us goes and does something and we like it, we're going to tell everybody we like it. Well, I'm sure that there's people. I'd be surprised if there wouldn't be people out there that saying, "Hey, Berkeley County is doing such a good job, and I'd like to find a really good recovery area to be in." I'm moving to Berkeley County, right? So I, I, I think that, and Tim, you might be able to answer that. I mean, unfortunately, Tim is is uh, the day report center is getting a three story addition because he does so well because he doesn't have any more room. It's uh, we all would love to see a day when Tim, um, the county commission would say, Tim, you don't have a job. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, you, you asked the question, Bill. Are we are we winning the battle? Or are we losing the battle? Um, that's a tough question to answer, but I, but I can say this with 100% certainty. If it were not for these programs that exist in Berkeley County, uh, as of Monday morning, there were 334 active participants enrolled in services yeah. at the Day Report yeah. Center and about 110 or so under home confinement supervision. That's, um, you know, 400, close to 450 yeah. people who, if not for these programs, they would be in and out of ERJ. And the problems, the addiction problems that they have would not be uh, being treated in any way at all. So you would see the crime rate much higher. Um, you would see the jail bill way higher. Uh, Eastern Regional Jail isn't even equipped to handle that many people. So the likelihood is that they, they would they would find ways to keep them out. Um, so it would, it would be a lot messier than it is. I think our community is a much healthier, cleaner place uh, because of these problems. So if you look at it from that perspective, we're winning. Um, I'd like to say we're winning. Yes. Tim, you, you've answered the question in different ways, and I think all of you are right. Doug answered on an individual by individual basis, and there's a lot of validity to that. You've answered countywide, uh, and there's a lot of truth to what you say. There has to be a frustration level in all cases, though, because there are people you are not able to get to. Sure. If you could hit the fundraiser again before we run out of time, October the 14th, and the tickets cost how much? Do we know? $60. $60. That's a dinner. Justice Hutchison will be speaking. There'll be folks giving their testimony from their own experiences as well. The dinner will be held where? Holiday Inn, Martinsburg. What time? 6 o'clock. The doors are open. Dinner will be served at 7. All right. What are we serving, Doug? Do we know? What's on What's on the entree list? Um, Virginia Sound would know better, but um, I don't know. Tim, what would you say? I don't remember. So. <laughs> Food. It's going to be something good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some type of chicken, I'm sure. <laughs> Credit to Virginia Sign. Yeah. She's stepped down, but she has not stepped down. When he, when when he started engaged, with Virginia, yeah. I got excited. I thought he said a Virginia ham was going to be on the menu there for a second there. You got a couple more minutes? or Yeah, that? yeah. We jump, so we have uh, two right. more minutes. Go ahead. I think, I think when we're talking about uh, measuring whether we're successful or not, in, in either which way, Tim's example or my example, Tim's right, um, and I always like to when I have an opportunity to talk about, about our son I like to do that um, is that you know when you're put in Eastern Regional Jail in our case our son only got further educated in the wrong direction he went there and he was with people that was my age or my sister's age and and they, they only got further educated because they've been in now jails just like Tim said all the time because they never got the right help um, and and I think the the the, the thing that made uh, myself um, to understand because you 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 talked about the non sayers and the no sayers. John was I was one of those, right? I, I you you done it by choice. You're the one that turned around and and you got to get dig yourself out of this hole. I can't help you. Back then there was no help. Uh, but just imagine that you're in that position, and you're going in. He he went to jail I think three different times for for alcohol use. But just imagine being in that position to where you wake up one day or one night you decide, I'm not living this life anymore, and the only way out is go see God. You know, make a trip to heaven and never come back. And uh, um, that's how much of a hold it has on you. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize that until um, his mother and I had to pay the ultimate price, and his sister, uh, and now his ne nephews. Um, but... Just, just, just always, you, you listeners out there, just think about that. Um, this has got a, such a hold, hold, tight hold on you that you, you don't know any other way out. Um, and as Tim says, there's not anyone out there that wants to be an addict or an alcoholic. 
Could I add to that quickly? No, oh. you can't because we have to get to our last commercial break. But you can when we get back at the other end of it, Bill, if you could there, too. 957. We're